Hey folks, JD here, and today we've got this. This is the Wymius DR10. Now, it looks very much like a quadcopter we looked at about three or four months ago. You would be correct in thinking that it looks similar, but hang in there. This has got one thing, the other one didn't. And it's a big thank you to David Nathan for our long email chats and for recommending this bad boy for me. So, let's open this up and have a little look and see what we've got inside here once I can actually get inside. So, there's only one place you can buy this and that is Amazon. If you buy this from anywhere else, it is not from the official seller of this particular quadcopter. You would find a link in the description, same as all my videos, should you want to have a look and see it in a little more detail. So, pulls apart, that's the quadcopter, and yes, that's the transmitter, making one very, very nice package indeed. Right, okay, in fact, let's move that. So, let's look at the quadcopter first. So, open it from one side. Very nice package. Look at that. Very nice. Warranty card along with the instruction manual inside there. The instruction manual is quite small. Looks to be quite detailed. How to operate the, the quadcopter. How to charge the battery. Go in after the YMES DR10 app as well as how to use the, uh, the, the application itself should you want to use that rather than the transmitter. Inside the package we have two uh, propeller guards, forgot what they called then, as well as we have the quadcopter which we'll come to in a couple of minutes. We also have the oh, micro USB cable, we have the battery, one battery or two, one battery with this, we have the battery in there and then we also have some spare propellers there as well. I like this box. I like nice packaging and attention to detail, and I like that. So what do we get with this? Well, let's have a look at the quadcopter first. You would be very, very correct in thinking it looks a lot like the Thi Doctor X. So what we have with this? Well, we have a 720p camera in the bottom of it there. Sorry, 1080p camera in the bottom of it there. We have two LEDs for the eyes here, working our way towards the back. We have our, this very nice industrial look. And then at the back directly, we have the uh, the battery bay inside here next to a uh, micro, US, micro SD card writer there as well as your micro USB cable there as well, uh, port, just for plugging the cable in, just for charging up that battery. This particular battery is a 3.7 volt, 650 milliamp hour battery, and it'll take roughly an hour to an hour and 40 to charge, and then from that will give you 10 to 11 minutes of flight. Now, look at this at the front here. Got to ensure that you peel this off, because if you don't peel off this little bit of cell tape on the front, then the battery connectors aren't going to touch and you're not going to get a current which means you're not going to be able to turn on this quadcopter. So once again you plug it in until it clicks and then it should be on the underside you have a button you click and hold that button for a few seconds and then the quadcopter should come on if it has any charge. Doesn't look like this does it looks pretty dead so there we go I'm going to take this back out so I can charge this. Now on the underside as we said earlier, we have the on and off button. We have some aeration holes here for the electronics as well as the battery just to breathe a little bit. But we also have an optical flow sensor just for precise positioning. So that when you have, because you have a barometer in here as well. So the barometer keeps altitude height and the optical flow keeps stability. So with them both together, it should act a lot like a GPS quadcopter. But don't be fooled, a big gust of wind comes or if the camera underneath here reads the ground incorrectly the quadcopter will move about a bit so you do have that nice stability especially for taking photos and videos but a big gust of wind will move this so do not take her out in very high winds so right then what are we looking at as far as the weight so we've got the operational weight the flying weight of this now with the battery obviously that is the flying weight we are looking at 84 grams that in itself is a fantastic little weight very light so as i say don't take her out in any high winds so you do want to ensure that the day you take her out on is nice and steady and nice and still four brushed motors here as well just sitting inside these little very nice girder-esque looking uh propeller arms there as well 
all in all, same as I thought about the Thei Doctor X, I love the look of it. I think it's very, very stylish and it stands out. Right, let's put this to one side and let's have a look at everything else that comes with it. Well, obviously we've got the two propeller guards here, which just clip onto the motors. Really nice and easy. And then we also have the spare propellers, which these are just push-in propellers. So you just unplug and then push back in and push quite hard in order to go in. I've always found it's better when pushing these on to hold either side rather than push in the middle. Because in the middle there's often a small hole where the central pin of the motor might push through and it might stick into your finger so i often think to get a nice balanced weight put either put your finger either side and push down like that that's how i replace my propellers and i've never had an issue right now we come on to the transmitter so the transmitter is in a box a lot like the quadcopter open it from one side and then you have the transmitter just sitting in there now this is a transmitter we've come to see with a lot of quadcopters. It's quite cheap and cheerful, but at the same time it just works quite well. Now all the buttons here are, uh, they do have a nice little picture on them, so you do know exactly what's happening. If you look at the shoulder buttons first, starting off the left, you have record video and take photo on the right. You have your standard analog sticks here, which don't depress, there's no buttons there. You have your uh, one key takeoff, one key landing. Your trim buttons here, I believe the plus and the minus, as well as you have your 360 flip button, and I believe that is your emergency stop button as well. All in all, it's quite nice to have this particular quadcopter with a nice trim transmitter because I did like the the way that the eye flew but I do often think as much as I do like to have the apps working off a smartphone I have a lot more confidence in using a nice transmitter at the bottom of this transmitter a lot like a DJI copter you have the holder there for your phone so that you can fit your smartphone in there uh, so that you can use your app and then likewise at the top you've got your two antennas which are inbuilt but you can see they are either side here and the back, you have got your battery bay, and inside the battery bay, you... Oh, God. Once you can get this damn thing open... Oh, oh that would help. There is a black screw in there. So that would be the reason why I can't actually get that off, um, which is quite annoying. Uh, and everything about this copter is black. That, that is very much the, the colour code uh, for this, is just a deep, deep black. Now, there's no uh, screwdriver with this, and my particular screwdriver doesn't fit in there at all. So there's unfortunately no way that I can get that off with this current screwdriver. Let me go and see if I can find myself another one. Yes, I have found myself another one. What am I saying? Let me see if I can find one. This bedroom is full of screwdrivers. Electronics, any sort of bits of kit <laughs> that would help me in any part of my hobby or my job is uh, can be found in this room. Right, take that off. You've got three AA batteries in the back here, folks. This transmitter does allow USB charge. It uh, does not allow USB charging, so you have to ensure the batteries in the back here are short bought or pre-charged. All in all, though, as I say, the transmitter it feels quite thin plastic. It is cheap and cheerful, but it's a transmitter with a very, very nicely looking quadcopter, very nicely styled. All in all, it goes together really quite nicely. The black of the quadcopter and the black of the transmitter really does offset each other really nicely. I think that's quite nice, you know, really do. So all in all, what do you get inside this package? Well, we get the quadcopter as well as we get the transmitter. We also get the micro USB cable and the propellers, uh, spare propellers rather, as well as we get the propeller guards there as well that make for one big, uh, nice, nice big kit. You also get your warranty card and a free replacement drone battery on the back here. And they tell you steps on how to get that as well as you have got your, tran your uh, manual in here with your QR codes in order to get the YMES app just here so there we go so all in all a fantastic nice little um, package all together that you should have hours of enjoyment with but let's see how this flies in the next couple of days folks so please join me then thank you ever so much for watching and listening i've been jd you've been fantastic as always if you haven't already please like and subscribe hello and welcome to all the new subscribers i hope you're enjoying the channel so until next time my friends happy flying <laughs>